I met some daddies. I am coming out. I want to Period. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away my love Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin, and you know how to spell a Coco. So, starting this vlog, I'm doing something that I've never done before. I am going to the U.S. Open, in, which is golfing. Um, they're having it here in Boston. I invested my money to go freestyle at the US Open to find me a potential daddy, okay? And my Uber is outside and I wanted to quickly come on here and, you know, let you guys know what I was doing to start this vlog. I will show you guys my outfit. So it's at a country club. So white is usually a good uh, color to go with. So white, blue, so I have on this Alexander Wang dress that you guys saw in my um, vlog with Breaking Daddy in California. And because it's golf, we're not gonna be sitting, we're gonna be walking, um, you know. Um, so I decided to pair it with my white Hermes slides. And I don't, I think I'm just gonna take my Birkin because I'm bringing you guys along. I invested like $800, so. I have to vlog this. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna take my Bron Kelly since it's already out and I need to have something to put you guys in. Why is he walking past it? That's where you would hit it, right? Going to oh, okay. okay. That, hey, I'm sorry. That you ball right there. <laughs> three balls, four, You're three balls. Like, Megan! Oh, okay. He was alright. Dude, That's unbelievable. I wish I was up there to watch the second shot. Well, we're right here at least. So it's funny, we went up there at the top, it's actually there's four holes. There's four holes right there. There's two greens and two tee boxes. Right there. So we were all did it for like a good two minutes there. <laughs> you were being recorded, sir. 
It's lit. I met some daddies. Period. If the U.S. Open is coming to your state, bitch, book, get that ticket and go. When I say I was literally on demand in this bitch, I know that on demand. Okay. <laughs> is the next day and as you can see I've got my crazy hair out because I'm going to go get my hair done oh mine like if I look purplish it's because your girl has a sunscreen on her face and the sunscreen that I used I was gonna walk out of the house like this should I <laughs> oh well um, the sunscreen that I used for some reason left me like looking purple um, so drop in the comments um, the best sunscreen for a dark skinned girl like myself that I can use on my face and it's not gonna leave me looking dead like I look dead I look crazy um, yeah <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go get my hair done. I will talk about the um, US Open, the golf tournament that I went to yesterday. Once I get pretty, because I look crazy right now. So once I get pretty, um, I will explain to you guys why you should go to a golf tournament and find you a potential sugar daddy because crazy. Okay, when I say crazy, crazy okay and i will talk all about it when i come back all right guys so this is my hair it came out so nice no more wigs well i still i'm gonna wear my wigs like once in a while like in between getting my sew-ins and stuff but no more like closure like frontals basically um i'll just do like the closure wigs uh you know when uh i don't have my hair done just so that you know if i need to go out like if i have a date or something um i still can like you know look decent until i get my hair done which has kind of been what i've been doing in this vlog i don't know if you guys have noticed but um last night was it last night no yesterday when i Oh, when I started this vlog, I had a wig on my head, um, and it was a closure wig, um, and underneath I just had my hair braided, like I looked crazy. Anyways, but yeah, so this is the hair, this is what it looks like, and uh, yeah, I'm loving it so far. After um, I got my hair done, I went to Apple and got a new computer because if you follow me on Instagram, Birkin Coco, then you know that somebody lost my computer. <laughs> um, we're not even gonna talk about who said person is. Uh, Whatever, but thanks to a Birkin Daddy for helping me 
get a new one. So, your girls get a fresh, brand new laptop. And this time I got a dark gray one. Unboxing her, so this is what she looks like. Very pretty. Um, this is a MacBook Pro um, 14 inch. So I was looking at the 16 inch, but the 16 inch is way too big and it's not practical like for a woman like myself. Um, Cause I travel and I need to be able to take my computer with me sometimes. Um, so in here it's just, I guess the charger and uh, yeah, so that's how this works. I'm going to hold on to this um, everything because I just need to be able to return it in case someone finds my computer. It has pretty much been my day. I don't know why it's hard for me to talk right now. I guess maybe because I've been running around. I'm hungry at this point. I could use a drink. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna set my computer up so that I can uh, possibly do some work and get a vlog to you guys. To use English as the main language. Press the return key. I will go ahead and um, come back later because I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and I really don't have nothing to tell you guys. Well, I do have something to tell you guys. I we're gonna talk about the whole U.S. opening thing, um, but not right now. I, and I'm going back tomorrow, so you guys will see more of that. Um, and then I will talk about it because right now I don't feel like going on a long rant <laughs> about why you should go to the U.S. Open or go to, you know, country clubs or um, golf courses um, to find your sugar daddy. But we will talk about that at some point. All right, guys. So it is um, today is a Sunday Juneteenth, happy Juneteenth. Now you guys are gonna be mad at me. Now that I just realized it, y'all are gonna be mad at me because it is Juneteenth and your girl is going to go hang out with a whole bunch of old white men. Oops. But I'm going back to the US Open, the golf tournament that is happening here in Boston because it is daddy's galore matter of fact um one of the daddies because i met some daddies actually like i really met me a sugar daddy like he is my sugar daddy um, i'm gonna call him a golf daddy <laughs> since i met him golfing and that's all we're gonna call him a golf daddy um he paid for my ticket for me to come to the u.s open today so <laughs> friday I paid for my ticket. He reimbursed me. Very nice of him um, because a woman never pays. So he reimbursed me my ticket. And and then today he bought me a ticket. Um, me and my girlfriend, actually. I'm inviting Bianca as well. Um, so she also got, <laughs> she also got a ticket. Um, because last time I was walking around by myself, I mean, like, he's going to be there, but he's going to be with his friends and stuff. And, you know, we got to be discreet. <laughs> discretion is key um so i'm not really gonna be hanging out with him so i'm bringing my girlfriend so that i can hang out with her and then i can mingle and meet other daddies because you can never have enough daddies i don't know how many times i gotta say that you can never have enough daddies i am dressed let me show you guys my outfit it is so cute because someone was asking me like what do you wear to something like, you know, the US Open. Friday, I wore this Alexander Wang dress. You guys have seen it. I will insert a picture here if I still have a picture of me wearing that dress. Um, I wore it and I wore it with some white Hermes slides. You saw it, I think I did an outfit check. Um, and then once I got there, he got me a hat. So I ended up wearing the hat. So it looked really like golfy. And then today, I'm wearing this skirt with this turtleneck because it's still cloudy outside. Friday was really nice. I'm happy I went on Friday. It was really nice. It was super hot though. So a girl was sweating like crazy. But today is much cooler. You're going to be doing a lot of walking. So today, 
since I know now, because Friday was my first time ever going, I wore my Hermes, um, and I wore my white ones at that. So much walking. My They're dirty as hell. My feet were dirty, like it was not cute. So today I have on my Nike sneakers that I usually wear if I'm gonna work out. These are very, very comfortable. Um, and then I wore this turtleneck but the back is still a little sexy. And then it's, you know, short and it's a skirt in the front. So this is what I am wearing. And then I'm just gonna take these um, shades. I have on Van Cleef, Van Cleef. I'm gonna put my shades up here. I can't remember where I got these shades from. I think they were my sister and I stole them. But that is the fit. And for my bag, I'm going to take my Chanel crossbody bag. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my Chanel boy bag. Drop my glasses. Um, I'm taking my Chanel boy bag because on Friday I took my Kelly. Um, it was it was fine. It wasn't a big deal, but I think this is more practical, and I can still fit my camera in here so you guys can come you know, come along. But yeah, so this is my outfit. I am about to walk Chanel and then um, feed her and then uh, drive to Bianca's house, park there. Hopefully I can find park in there. Um, it's Sunday, so I don't know if it's residence parking. All I know is they better not give me a ticket. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head out, and we're gonna go to the actual, so today is the actual, actual US tournament. So today is gonna be super packed, um, and it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to your fathers. Happy Father's Day to my daddies. Okay, period. <laughs> That's true, happy Father's Day to all my daddies. Okay, I'm talking Birkin Daddy. Tattoo Daddy, Holy Grail Daddy, Sax Daddy, Wine Daddy, um, a Golf Daddy. I mean, at this point, listen, Happy Father's Day. Even to the ones that don't have kids, be big, okay? Because if I call you Daddy, that's all that matters. Because you keep the bank account looking good. You keep me looking nice. You treat me like your princess. And so, happy Father's Day to all of you. And I know you guys are gonna watch this video, so. You go, hello. Anyways, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm talking too much. brushes I finally I think I told you guys how many weeks ago that I wanted to wash my makeup brushes and never got to it even washed my little um, makeup sponges so I did that I cleaned around the house a little bit but yeah so that is basically what has been happening um, the golf tournament was amazing amazing it is the place to be if you're trying to meet your sugar daddy period 
point blank period like it was so many freaking guys so many daddies i talked about it on my instagram but like when i say it was like probably like 500 men and i don't mean like 500 like just regular men i'm saying 500 golf daddies and these are people that came from all around the country even from around the world okay to boston to watch this um this tournament so i mean i had like over 500 men to pick <laughs> to pick through if i really wanted to um i mean i did meet a couple of people so it was really nice it was fun um friday i told you guys uh, i met this guy and then he brought me back sunday and then i ended up actually getting a ticket oh he got me and my girlfriend a ticket because i asked him to you know have my girlfriend join me Bianca um so we went on sunday and then we you know we hung out with him and his friends it was really fun um yeah and he was i mean he's given sugar daddy you know he's given very much sugar daddy he's a very nice guy and like you know i talked about him not, not about him because you know i never give out people's personal information but yeah so that's all that has been going on the next one is going to be in freaking los angeles so the next U.S. Open is going to be in Los Angeles, California, 2023. I don't know the exact date, but I'm assuming around the same time. I better see a lot more women, not even just women, like not just like black women, but like women in general. I was surprised to see like there were no hoes. And I was looking because, you know, I'm a hoe, so I can, you know, I can pinpoint one from a mile away. <laughs> And it was shocking to me that there were literally no women there. Like, I didn't even see, like, any girl with her sugar daddy. Like, it just, it was just all men. And I was shocked. And I'm like, I would think more women would come to this to, you know, pick up guys. But then again, I was like, well, you know, I'm a different, I, I think differently. So it was just like, <laughs> the fact that I did it and I went by myself, I mean, the tickets were expensive. I paid like 800, 800 bucks. Now, I think if I had purchased them way ahead of time, I don't think I would have had to pay $800, but I paid $800 for a VIP so that I was able to like get drinks and then mingle with other guys, you know, with the folks that have VIP. Um, so anyways, I'm giving you guys a little tea now. The U.S. Open is going to be in Los Angeles next year. I will be there. <laughs> I will be there. And so I hope I will see a lot more of you guys there because there will be like there's no even there's no competition. There's more than uh, more than enough daddies in this world for us. OK. And then what was amazing about it for me is like it's not a place where they're coming with their wives, their girlfriends, because like in this whole sugar baby world, I don't know about you guys. But ring doesn't matter. <laughs> A ring doesn't matter, and I know someone's gonna judge me in these comments, but a, a ring doesn't matter to me, okay? As long as you're willing to pay your fee, we're good. So, the amazing thing about going to this US Open, the women weren't there, the wives weren't there. They were out, out of the state with their boys, with their man, their closest friends, because that's what they, you know, they go golfing with their closest friends so they can act up they can give you their number they can you know say hey come hang out with us like it's more like it's just easier for them so i just thought like the whole experience was amazing i'm so happy i did that did it the best money i've ever spent or invested on myself to do something um yeah so i hope to see you guys there next year but that's all i have to say about the whole golfing thing um i am actually on my way i need to go pick up my camera like i told you guys from wine daddy someone just texted me so i am addressed i'm going to go pick up my camera from wine daddy's house so then i decided i might as well just stop and do like a casual night out get some you know dinner or something because it's like what 7 30 so i have on these dress pants that i got from Maurizio. Top of Maurizia. So this is what that looks like. You guys know what these dress pants look like. Um, earrings are Chanel. Van Cleef bracelets that you guys know about. <laughs> and my Cartier bracelets. That's it. And I'm taking my 
classic Chanel. Put my uh, wallet, which is my Chanel wallet. I don't know what is on here. Isn't that cute? Let's see if it's gonna come off. And uh, phone, lip gloss. These is she in heels. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I really need to reorder them. These are my favorite heels. I need to reorder them because they're so comfortable. Like, I mean, they're trash now. I could wear my YSL, but these are like the lowest heels that I have and they're just so comfortable. So I don't care if they're all beat up. I'm putting them on because baby, I'm all about balance, okay? I have no shame in my game in, you know, buying things that are not uh, designer or not even name brand. Like I said, this is Shein. I've had these shoes for like three years and I wanna say they're probably my most worn heels, okay? My red bottoms are the ones that probably get the least amount of wear. Um, and yeah, I just wear these heels with pretty much everything. Oh, Chanel has been walked. She just needs me to put her some food and then we are out the door. So I'm gonna add this cardigan that I got from Saks um, a while ago. I got it in black as well. If you guys are a faithful watcher, you know what I'm talking about when I got it. Um, just cause it gets a little chillier at night here. So this is what the final look is. <laughs> my cardigan might be a little wrinkled, but like I said, I am doing a casual look. So I think, I think I'll be okay. So this is the final look. <laughs> Friday, June 24th, it is 1.12 in the afternoon. And I am just getting my day started. So I'm about to take some of my uh, vitamins that I have absolutely not been good at taking. And so, here we are, we're taking it. I've realized if I make it a point to vlog it, maybe I'll take it more often, right? Somebody said, to make to drink a lot of water when drinking biotin because it might make you break out. Um, but yeah, so today we are running some new errands. Um, I need to go to Home Goods because I really need to get an art piece for my living room. I'm over it, it's blank, I'm tired of looking at it. And then I need to get some other art pieces for around my house. I need to go to CVS because I need to get some 
uh, dryer sheets, some mouthwash, and some other things. Um, and yeah, I need to go return this, uh, whew, this uh, what do you call it, um, vacuum cleaner that I got from my sister's best friend who was having a baby. I ordered the vacuum cleaner so it could go to her house. It was like my, um, my uh, you know, gift to her. Um, but <clears throat> for some reason they shipped it to my house. So now I have to find a way to get it to her. So I'm just gonna return it. So Amazon have like drop up spots. Ooh. So Amazon has drop up spots. So I just had to print out this label and I'll take it to Amazon and um, the drop up spot that they gave me and uh, they will return me my money within two to three hours I believe and then I can just reorder it and have it shipped to her so I can't forget this so I just have on these shorts that I got from Shein I'm pretty sure and this top is just a basic top from Zara um, so yeah and I'm probably just gonna put on my uh, black sandals. Um, I can't remember where I got them from Marshalls. I'm not gonna take my YSL bag. I'm running errands. When I'm running errands, I really don't do too much. Um, I might throw my Chanel earrings on. I'll see. But you know, I always keep my jewelry, Cartier jewelry, on. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much it for today oh my goodness i'm in home goods and look at what i just found all the pompous grass in the world so you know i am a stocking up because you can never ever have enough pompous grass so these are like 19 bucks. Expensive for a damn thing of pompous grass. How many do I want? Okay, let me see. Maybe like a hundred dollars worth. Oh, I feel like I have this color. This color in white. These $100 worth of pompous grass, guys. Do I really need this much? I don't have any of this. And so this is what I got to go over my living room couch. It's supposed to go right here. We're gonna try to put it, cause I mean like these have gray on it as well. And a little bit of gray on here. So, I think it would work. Ow. Um, yeah, I think it will work. I just need to get it up there and see. So that's what we're gonna try and do. So this is what she looks like. Love, hate, you tell me. I need your help. I kind of don't hate it. <laughs> um, very basic, but I don't hate it. And it's actually so heavy. Like this was like a piece, okay? It was very heavy um, and it was like 200 bucks. So I don't hate it. I think 
I'm going to incorporate some black um, around the house. Um, so I think that would work. I mean, this has gray on it. These Hermes um, blankets and pillows kind of have some gray on them. Like, not fully gray, but it's like a mix of gray and brown. So I thought it worked. Um, but you guys let me know down in the comments if you hate it. Um, yeah.